If the Scarlet's hooker Ken Owen gets a run tonight, he'll make his Wales debut. What a way to get your international career up and running at the World Cup. Ken Owen's there, you see. Ladies Number 16. And, and it's going to be Stephen Jones, the record breaker, who gets us underway. And the first touch in the hands there of Pete Van Sale. Substitutions made by Wells in the front row. One of them, Ken Owens, has come on. Ken Owens making his test debut in a World Cup. The first Welshman to do that since Jason Jones Hughes in 99. Away goes North again. Well picked up by Alan Wynne Jones. Now it's beginning to open up for Wales, and it's opening up this time for Jonathan Davis. Exactly what Wales needed. Great try by Jonathan Davis, he had a very good game tonight. Head inside that time by Lloyd Williams, just left behind there by Ken Owens, the debutant. Stolen out of the hands there of Esther Hazer. And it was his own elusive qualities which took him down. Not straight enough for me. Throw not straight enough for me, says uh, Steve Walsh. Up to halfway, Lloyd Williams again. And here's a chance for Ken Owens. The way it would be to get your international career off. Contributed to a stop start nature of the game, and it's, uh, it's hard to, for both teams to get into their patterns and things. Oh, look at the pressure that Wales are applying there. Andy Powell and uh, Steve Walsh has got his arm out, so it's a penalty. I reckon it might be same again. Made it difficult for Wales in attack here as well, and he's kept back then. And great to see uh, a man of the match from the losing team as well. There's Powell, the offload to Williams, and Lloyd Williams it is who gets the try. To give uh, put in such a big effort and come away and lose him by 70 and 80 points is uh, to be tough for them to take. You can see the depleted numbers in the scrummage. They, uh, Priestland, there's Bradley Davis for a second time. Three or four metres to go. They need a scrum half. Alan Wynne Jones plays the role. And now the pick up and drive. He's over. And Priestland does add the two. So in the end, it has been a very emphatic win for Wales. Namibia's World Cup comes to an end on a bit of a low point.